Mike Goodwin with Ford Performance. And a lot of you know we're putting this 460 Boss in our Bullnose Project, Norma Jean. And um, he was explaining a lot of cool stuff about these Heritage Line engines to us yesterday that I couldn't find anywhere on the internet. So I wanted him to go through it. This is an entirely new process. What's up? Yeah, what we've done in the Heritage engine line, and what I mean by Heritage is the old school pushrod architecture, right? From the, the 60s, 70s, and 80s. We have taken those drawings, those designs, and modernized them with a new manufacturing process, right? We added material, or added strength, in the main cap webbings, in between the bores, all new tooling at the foundry, right, to yep. pour the castings, and then they are machined on all new tooling at our machinists, right? We use a couple of different ones, but all done domestically, right? They are cast in Indiana, and they're machined here uh, domestically, also in Michigan. Am I correct in that this casting is the same high strength iron they use in the power stroke engines? It is a, actually a little different blend, okay. but this strength far exceeds what the old winter blocks were capable of, right? I would feel comfortable on seven to eight hundred horsepower without issue in the 351 winter block. And then main caps three to five are, or three, two, three, and four are four bolt splayed main caps. Correct. Extremely yep. strong. We can show that in a sec too. So what you're saying is this is not a Windsor block at all. Not the old school Windsor no. block that everyone thinks, right? Yeah. The capability of this block in terms of bore and stroke, we can get to that 460 yes. inches like we're putting like, in your yes. truck. Yes. Right? Yep. It's not a big block. It really is a small block. Yes. It uses all the small block accessories, right? The drive, the cylinder heads, distributor, intakes, and all that is based on a small block 95 deck height. Windsor deck height, Windsor accessories, Windsor intake, small block bell housing drops right into your project. And what do we have over here? So this is a, a, a five liter, 302, right? Yes, this is the eight two deck height yep. block, right? Okay. This is our Boss 302 block, and it uses the same process, same manufacturing technology with the, the new casting process. Yeah. All, and again, machined, all new tooling, all new updated drawings, again, added webbing, added beef in the webbing for added strength, splayed main caps on two, three, and four. Awesome. This package, again, I'd feel comfortable up to seven, eight hundred horsepower. <laughs> That's right. Right. So, and then there's a kind of a stroker version. Yes. Which is a 347 cubic inch. Yes. This is a, a 347 inch version, right? We take this. Is that multi-port injection? It is. Yes. This is uh, an Edelbrock Pro, Pro Flow system yep. that we offer as a drop-in crate engine. Great street cruiser package, 360 awesome. horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque. Comes with everything you see here. In addition to everything you see here, you just add your specific Fiat that you want, and, and off you go. What uh, fuel pressure do these run? Is it like a 40, 50 PSI kind yeah. of standard? Okay. Mm -hmm. And yep. then this, you know, utilizes the standard small block bell housing, yep. small block cylinder heads, and this one comes with the X2 head, right? So your standard Ford pattern headers will pull right up to awesome. it. Awesome. And I don't see it here, but there's also a big block, a really exciting big block. We also <laughs> offer a 572-inch big block. It's based on the, the 385 yeah. architecture, right? Again, all new tooling on those blocks, all new machine tooling as well. And we offer, I, I should note also, if you want to build your own combination, we sell bare blocks, we sell cylinder heads, you can cook up your own recipe from mild to wild. So these are these are all the Ford Racing aluminum cylinder heads. Yes. The engine we have has the Z heads on it, right? It, it okay. does. Yep. yep. So this is a 
lightweight, modern cylinder head again, like just like we've been hearing, this is a redesigned engine. It is not necessarily an old engine. It is a from the ground up, you know, new take on the old engine. Exactly, yeah. right? Awesome. Modern manufacturing, yep. modern materials modern machining processes right to get the tolerances just right the added strength of the redesign right we've it, we've invested a lot of money the last few years coming out of the pandemic to keep the heritage engines alive right yep. drops right into an early bronco uh, an early mustang many many f series pickup trucks right it's plug and play right here your C6 or your C4 bolts right up to it, away you go. Yep, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, we're gonna bolt this to the T, or the, the 351 Boss 460T. We're gonna bolt that to the T18 in our 1985 F250, and we're gonna bolt it in with just factory motor mounts. And we could either reuse our fuel system with a carburetor, or we can go to something like this, like an aftermarket multi-port fuel injection, which is what we're gonna ultimately end up doing. But you know, you have an old school classic throwback that's totally modernized, multi-port fuel injection, and you could put a big air cleaner on here and it would just really look the part of an original classic engine and just have all the firepower of something more. And you know, that 460 that we're using, that outperforms the Godzilla, like handily outperforms the Godzilla. So it is a really, really cool option and um, we're super excited. Yeah, that, that particular package on that 460, yeah. right, with the Z heads and the, the hydraulic roller camshaft yep. in it, that's a close to 600 horsepower ID. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. So, well, thank you so much. It. Yeah, we're right. really excited. Thank All you. Right. Yep. Thank you.